Michael here. Today is Sunday, February 27th, 2022. I'm getting old. I'm here in out Mallon Park. It's in Farmers Branch, Texas. It's not a large park, but it is a park from my childhood. And I just want to share it with you. So come hang out with me. Although it is a small park, I got a lot of childhood memories here. I don't think they want you crossing the bridges right now. Both ends were roped off. I thought one end was roped off, but now see the other end is as well. They got little islands here in the middle. Now I don't think these are the original bridges when I was a child. And these picnic tables weren't here either. I don't recall these steps. Wonder if you can uh, paddle around in there. I've never seen anybody on the boat. From here on, it is private property. They don't want you back there. But if it wasn't dammed up, it'd be fun to take a little canoe or kayak down there. Be a little difficult with this behind you though. Or below you. I remember walking across these often as a kid. Thinking I was being daring. And here I am doing it with a camera. This park holds a special place in my childhood as this is the park my mom would take me to often. We would often refer to it as, let's go feed the ducks. That was a different time period. I don't advise feeding ducks or any wildlife for that matter, but it was the 1970s, maybe part of the 1980s. And that was a highlight of my childhood, was going to feed the ducks. We feed them uh, some bread that was going stale and that was a good way of getting rid of it. These wings are pretty cool. In fact, Farmer's Ranch has it on several different parks of theirs. It says Gamut Manufacturing on the side. I never knew who made them. But they are articulated and you can swing back and forth just by pushing your feet down here on this little board here. That was actually pretty relaxing. One of mine had one of those in my yard. Or property, if I had property. One thing that does change around these parks is the playground equipment. I honestly can't remember what we had here before. I'm sure we had seesaws and merry-go-rounds and all that fun stuff. 
Of course, that's not deemed safe anymore. Then again, you see a lot fewer kids these days with broken arms. I've been pretty fortunate. All I've broken are a couple toes and that's it, knock on wood. I was referring to not feeding the wildlife earlier. They really don't want you to feed the wildlife here. These are not domesticated pets. They can cause some uh, aggressive behavior. And bringing more birds in the area cause overcrowding and unsanitary conditions. And food that's left over, it's for the skunks, rats, and other rodents. There's the old logo for Farmer's Branch, at least at the late 80s, during the late 80s, rather. Farmer's Branch is not a small town. It's not really a farmer area. Uh, this whole area was farms at one time, but that was long before I came along. So Farmer's Branch makes sense, but it's no longer applicable. But Mallon Park, this park is dedicated to the citizens of Farmer's Branch and to the memory of Mr. H. Neil Mallon. M Mr. Mallon, a former City of Farmer's Branch Council member and prominent citizen, donated this land for the park in two parts. 1.8 acres in 1962 and 2.2 acres in 1963. Mallon Park, the second park established in the city, is a favorite because of its passive setting and scenic water feature. What I found interesting was on April 19th, 1989, this park was formally dedicated. That is not in my quote unquote childhood uh, era. I was in high school on April 19th, 1989, attending Thomas Jefferson High School in Dallas. So I find that interesting because we always knew this as Mallon Park or even the duck park that's what we call it as children now i mentioned that i'm getting older and it's true tomorrow's gonna be one of those milestone birthdays and i just can't fathom it i kind of miss being my 20s but tomorrow i'm gonna be the big 5-0 oh, the big 50 half a century it's kind of hard to think about I don't have the words. Of course, that's a good time to start reflecting on your life. Now, what have you accomplished? What are you going to accomplish? Our time is limited and we're running out of it every day. We never know when we're gonna take our last breath, so make it count. Our world is going faster and faster and faster. At least it seems that way. I've always heard that time seems to go a little faster as you get older. And there's some truth to that. But don't forget to rest. And don't forget to do stuff to recharge your batteries. By the way, if you haven't already, please subscribe. That would mean the world to me. I'm Right now I'm at 208 subscribers, which means I can do a little bit with YouTube. But YouTube limits what you can do until you reach a certain plateau or level, whatever you want to call it. I believe the 500, 500 subscribers, if I can get the words out, 500 subscribers, you can actually make posts on YouTube that people can read. So if I have a delay in video or I just want to give you a little quick snippet of what's going on in life and uh, getting out in life, I can do it at 500. I can't do it at 208. Uh, thousand that's when we start looking at possibly being monetized be able to do live streams where everybody can see it and I can do like 25% of my subscribers for live streams right now so I haven't done a live stream yet it's live stream live stream yet but uh, I wouldn't mind start doing some of those and just have you walk with me live and uh, chat back and forth I miss hanging out with people so uh, it's not quite the same, but uh, it would be great if I can do that with you. Especially since I have uh, people that subscribe from all around the world. Now the question is, will I ever hit 100,000 subscribers? Which is your silver play button level. I don't know. I might. It's always a dream. I'd love to do this thing full time. And that's about the level you need to be to start doing some, some of these things full time. About 50 to 100.
thousand subscribers. That's a lot of people. I would love to just hit the road and just experience life and get out there. Really get out there. I do enjoy doing all the stuff in the, the Metroplex because I am a bit tied down. I mean, we all have to work. Uh, great video to watch. It's not my video, but it kind of, I kind of like it and I've watched it a few times just to watch it. Look up TDW1646. That's T as in Tango, D as in Delta, W as in Whiskey, 1646. I wouldn't mind being in that position someday. The water level looks a little low here. In fact, on the other side, there's a lot of buildup there that kind of created a dam there. see areas around the island here that are a little deeper and goes really shallow I don't remember seeing fish in these ponds I don't see any today it's probably too cold for them to go out and swim and get out and swim if I can speak correctly still morning I've only had one cup of coffee Probably need another piping hot caffeinated beverage, as another YouTuber puts it. I really wonder about these steps here. Is that for people to walk down and get in the water? There's no swimming signs all over the place here. I'd say it's probably for the ducks to get up and down in. They get their own little grand staircase. There are no fowl out here at this time. It's a little too cold for fowl. Here, birds chirping, but no ducks and geese and all that fun stuff. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It is a short one this time around. I am limited on time. I kind of painted myself in the quarter for this week's video. I probably should take a day off here and there. That would probably be a good thing. And, and uh, don't forget to comment down below. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. What are you interested in for videos? I've done ham radio stuff. I've done little city parks. I've done some larger parks. I've taken one trip. That video ran a little long. And honestly, my older videos, I don't like watching them as much. So, so I mean, I'm talking about the first few videos. I'm amazed how cringy they are. Not to say that my videos are not still cringy. I'm still pretty new at this. I've been at about 14 months, just a little over 14 months now. So let me know down in the comments, how am I doing? And uh, let me know what you want to see. I would love to uh, explore more and people give me ideas, show me new places to go. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm having fun doing it. For now, y'all take care, be safe, bye. Way, folks it's cold I'm underdressed it's time to go home and get these fingers thumb up love you guys